what brings you here? Well, I took the bus. <laughs> First off, Kitty, I'd like to say you have a lovely home. Second of all, screw you, Red. <laughs> what? Well, I'm out of work, and it's all your fault. How am I supposed to pay my bills or, or feed my dog or go to Hawaii? <laughs> Look, Earl, you can't blame me for getting fired. I didn't make you too dumb to flip burgers. That's God's fault. Yeah, well, you know the Christmas cards you get of me and my dog every year? You're off the list. Yeah, that's right. Don't bother checking the mailbox, Red, because it ain't common. I loved his Christmas cards. <laughs> they were handmade. Oh. Gilligan screwed it up. <laughs> he always screws it up. Why don't they just kill him? I don't think you're really mad at Gilligan, Red. Admit it, you feel guilty about what happened to Earl. This has nothing to do with Earl. The professor worked on that coconut radio for three months. <laughs> now how the hell are they going to get off that island? Oh, well then I guess I was wrong. I don't know why I questioned you. And I'll tell you. Something's going on with that skipper. <laughs> you don't get that fat eating coconuts. about this burger? What? Is it burnt? Are you gonna fire me? Make me live on the street with the other hobos? Kitty, let it go. I do not feel guilty. All right. I feel guilty. Okay. I am here to withdraw my complaint about my overcooked burger. Uh-huh. Well, I don't think you can do that. Well, I think I can. Of course you can. The customer's always right. So, you'll give Earl his job back? Well, the fry cook burned off his finger this morning, so... Sure. By the way, don't have the fish sticks. We haven't found it. You hear that, Earl? Got your job back. You can go to work. Wait, you mean right now? Well, Miss WKRP. 